Hi, my name is Kiran Baburaj and in this video we will explore different types of binary tree. In a binary tree, each node has at most two children. First, the balanced binary tree. This is a tree where height difference between the left and right subtrees of any node is at most one, so that it ensures order of log n for the all operations. And it is common in self-balancing trees. The height is balanced at every node and it is efficient for searching operations. The balanced trees are widely used in databases and memory management systems to maintain efficient performance. Next we have the complete binary tree. In this type all levels are fully filled except possibly the last level which is filled from left to right. The key features of complete binary tree include all levels filled except the last level, the last level filled from left to right and it's perfect for heap implementation, it's efficient array representation and balanced by the definition. They are ideal for implementing priority queues and heaps which are essential for algorithms like heap sort. Now let's look at the full binary tree. In this type, every node has either zero or two children. No node has just one child. They are optimal for expression trees and they are predictable in structure and they are easy to traverse. The full binary trees are often used in compilers and expression evaluation where a predictable structure is crucial. And finally, we have the perfect binary tree. This is a tree where all leaf nodes are at the same level and every internal nodes has exactly two children. They are completely symmetric, but they are rare in practice. The perfect binary trees are more of a theoretical concept, but they help us in understanding the ideal structure for the binary trees. To recap, each type of binary tree has its unique properties and use cases. The balanced binary trees are ensure efficient operations. Complete binary trees are ideal for heaps and priority queues. Full binary trees are for uh, perfect for the expression evaluation. And the perfect binary trees are to represent the ideal structure. So each type of tree has its own specific use cases. We have to choose the right tree based on the requirements to unlock its full potential. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Happy coding and see you in the next video.